everybody. Feeling alright in terms of my stomach. It's alright. Could be better. Um, ran out of my oil and I'm waiting for my vaporizers to come into town. And I don't know if they'll get here in time. So I'm just, you know, having to smoke a lot and rely on my edibles that are really awesome. And um, from my friends... I'm really just depressed and don't know what to do because I, yeah, I don't talk about um, these things that bother me a lot, but I have a lot of medical bills um, that have accrued and the kidney stone and everything hasn't helped. And it's like maybe I'm focusing on it a lot more because since I'm out of my meds and everything, you know, I'm just focusing on all the negative, but... <laughs> It's like I came back here to Pittsburgh and I have all these like bills that I've that I've been getting that um haven't been sent to my new address in Arizona and it's like how the hell am I supposed to pay for all this stuff and I have all these creditors asking me to pay all this stuff back and I might have to just declare bankruptcy and I don't It's like okay so we have Barack Obama again as president. Well, where's the change? Where's the move forward? When am I gonna get relief? When's anybody gonna get any relief? I can't even get a job because of my stomach problem. I've been fired from all my jobs. I can't get on disability. I've been denied twice. <laughs> I can barely afford my meds, but I manage with trading art and doing graphic design. Thank goodness for my boyfriend and future husband. But who knows when we'll be married because <laughs> that takes money too and I have to pay off all this debt and it will never happen so bankruptcy might be my only option it's not making my stomach feel that great but I'm trying like my stomach could feel worse but I know that the longer I go without my oil the more it's gonna the worse it's gonna get and the more this stress that I'm feeling right now is gonna eat away at me and make my Crohn's worse so Sorry that this video is not that happy, but, you know, there's there have been some good things that have happened since I've gotten back. I've been able to get out a lot more. It's like, yes, the stress has affected me, and so far it hasn't made my stomach completely uh, out of order. But it probably will in the next few days if this continues. But since I've gotten back, because I actually was able to keep taking my oil the way I was supposed to, um... I was able to get tattooed. I've been able to go out to lunch and dinner with my family. I've been able to take walks. It's been cold, but hey, I can get out. I've enjoyed spending so much time with my cute little nephews. And just catching up with my family. Seeing my wonderful friends. But I just, I don't know. Every once in a while, you know, I, I have to get out what's bothering me and my and, and this is one of those things that's bothering me and going to Pittsburgh and seeing all those old, you know, bills piling up and seeing how much debt I'm in really kind of just, it threw me back into uh, the reality of this world. And, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I know that I'm in the same boat as a lot of Americans right now. And I just want to know when it's going to change because I can't, I can't, there's nothing. I, how can I get myself out of this debt? There's just no way. All of the money that I, that I make goes to my boyfriend to help pay bills and what little I can. 
and the and and the art that I make goes to you know my meds like trading for meds or 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 do or I donate money to people for meds because I know like I'm so appreciative and they go out of their way so why not donate some money to good people so all my money goes to people that are helping me why do I want to give my money to the to people that have only like screwed me I'm sorry medical system an educational system but you haven't done anything for me um I'm just rambling I gotta go I don't have anything good to say. All I know is that I have. I have always suffered from anxiety and depression and suicidal tendencies. And this whole problem makes me want to just commit suicide. And the only thing that's helped is that Shauna Banda just called me like as I was about to really think about doing something stupid. So thank you so much, Shauna, for being there. You're always, you're just so awesome. Thank you so much. You're a true friend. You really are. And people, you should understand that friends are the most important thing. They really will help you through the best of times and the worst of times because I really was thinking some awful, awful things and she helped me so much. I may be feeling crappy still, but at least I don't feel like killing myself. That woman is so good. She truly listens. And that's what you need to do, guys, in this movement is listen to people. Listen to your fellow person. And, and know this, just because somebody's willing to give you something, to so-called to heal you doesn't mean that they're out to heal you. <laughs> always, 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 always rely on those who you who you know and you can trust. And if your gut tells you don't trust something, then don't trust it. Because usually your gut's pretty pretty good at sensing things. But I like to trust those who aren't out to offer me anything except a shoulder to lean on and a, an ear to listen and a hug to give. I'm not after people that are like, oh, here, here's some oil. Oh, oh, here's some bud. No, I just want some friends that care. I don't want people to get sick. I gotta go. I'm not making any sense.